Welcome to The Signal. Chief TV is here to bring you news that matters to the Pooh. I'm Chelsea here with, in the studio with Mr. Studio Girl Micah on teleprompter. Graphics God Gannon dominating Danica, directing us all and making us look good. And last but not least, Miss Ellie Davison. Thanks, Chelsea. You look good all the time. That's right, Pooh. I'm here with some info all Chiefs want to know. Let's go. Some of the latest news around the Pooh. Are you interested in being a part of cheerleading or the Golden Girls for next school year? If so, now's the time to sign up. Tryout packets are available in the main office for pickup. Do it by Tuesday, April 18th. Kickapoo U is also taking applications for a field trip event this May. All freshmen and sophomores that are a part of Kickapoo U can get a permission slip to attend a field trip to the Ozarks Food Harvest coming up on May 4th. This trip can count as volunteer hours or even a job shadowing experience. You can pick up this info and permission sheet in Kickapoo University office, but hurry fast. They're only allowing limiting numbers to go. For sports action, tons of sports happening this week. On the calendar, you can expect games from boys tennis, golf, baseball, girls soccer, and also track and field. You can check out the Kickapoo calendar for times and locations. For Chief TV, I'm Ellie Davison. Yo Chelsea, tech me. <laughs> Do you ever miss place your electronics, maybe even lose them sometimes? Well, you may have heard of AirTags. AirTags are a relatively new Apple item that helps you track your devices. Affordable too, like AirPods, phones, even keys. Basically anything that can leave your house. Just hook it up on your device and boom, you can track them. The AirTags are powered through Find My iPhone, Go to the app, track the items, then you have two options to click. Either play sound and it'll play a beat or fine. It can track whatever device you put the AirTag on. But with these trackers come potential problems, allowing stalkers and criminals a whole new avenue to be baddies. Hundreds of stalking crimes around the world are directly linked to this clever little sensor. Will the world turn backwards? No. But will laws need to be considered in light of cheap GPS style tracking? Probably. For Tech News, I'm Chelsea Masterson. Hello sports fans, Riley Wilson here reporting from the Chief TV studio. Let's talk about the wild world of sports this week. First up, girl fight. Recently in women's college basketball, some drama sparked between LSU player Angel Reese and Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. Shots were fired when LSU took victory over Iowa in the NCAA. And as their team celebrated their victory by pointing at their ring fingers where they had drawn lines to represent rings, Angel Reese was seen flaunting the you can't see me gesture, popular by John Cena. Iowa fans and sexists alike responded with lots of hate towards Reese, accusing her of bad sportsmanship with no apology, while at the same time applauding male unsportsmanlike conduct daily. Do you see the irony? Because I do. Now for you baseball fans, the MLB season is now full swing. With the first game on March 30th, with Texas Ranger outfielder Josh Smith nailed in the face by the Orioles pitcher Danny Colon. He was hospitalized and received st six stitches before he was claimed he was okay and feeling good. Ouch. Now for all the sports news. Now Kaylee and Katie, back in the studio. Welcome back to the tail end of the signal. I'm Kaylee Dodd. Mm, and I'm hungry, hungry for some celebrity gossip. Katie, can you help me out? Just you wait, Kaylee. I've got a country kettle of tea ready for you, Kickapoo. We all love Chase Stokes from the popular Netflix show Outer Banks. The famous actor was known for dating his co-star, Madeline Klein, but unfortunately they broke up a while back. Now he has a new love interest, you may have heard of her. She is none other than the country superstar Kelsey Ballerini. The two went public not too long ago on March 2nd, but hints dropped before then. They just attended the CMAs together and now the two look very happy. Now for a throwback, we have officially hit the year mark on when Will Smith's, the Will Smith slap happened at the Oscars show last year, where Chris Rock made comments that offended Will and his wife, which didn't end well. Now on to brighter things as it is wedding season, a couple that attends Clemson University, Brandon Galloway and now Mackenzie Galloway, had a beautiful wedding on March 24th and they are now happily married. They have a strong fan platform on the app TikTok and they are rooting for the couple and keeping up with them through their platform and their content. That's all for the celebrate tea. What do you have in store for us in the social media world, Kaylee? You know, Katie, they say nothing good stays truly free and the news today is proving it, let me tell you. You may have noticed on your Snapchat that the arcade games have been removed from the app. The reasoning behind this is, on February 7th, 2023, Snapchat confirmed that it had removed the Snapchat games and minis to focus on other features that were more important for creators and users. While some people still enjoyed playing the games, the amount of people that were using the feature were decreasing and it had very poor revenue growth. 
Since it was not receiving much revenue or attention, it was removed to help focus more on other features. Even though the game started on the app in 2019, they announced it is unlikely to return to the platform. Another feature on Snapchat that you may have noticed recently is Snapchat Plus. Snapchat Plus costs $3.99 a month and gives users exclusive features like the ability to pin a friend as their number one, exclusive badges, story rewatch counts, Snapchat web, and more. Some people may see this as a very stalker-like update, and to be honest, it kind of is. The subscription allows you to keep track of someone's snap score and how much it increases, and lets you view where you are on someone else's best friends list. For Katie, Riley, Chelsea, Ellie, Gannon, Micah, and Danica, I'm Kaylee Dodd. See you next time, Chiefs.